uh, uh, thank you again. We're going to have dessert in a minute, but we got a couple special presentations. And could I get Rick and Joey up here? And uh, we're going to start um, with Michelle. You guys were fantastic. Man, what a blessing. Thank you. Uh, I want to, before we do that, I want to say this is a guy that seven years ago got the vision for Catholic Brothers for Christ along with several people in the back um, that said, and they started a conference at Prince of Peace where Jose and uh, Monica are from, and uh, they uh, started uh, seven years ago uh, Catholic Brothers for Christ, North Texas Catholic Men's Conference, and you know, I think if we counted it up, it's probably 6,000 men who have been blessed by the conferences wow. and all the things that we've done, wow. uh, which is awesome. And Joey, uh, Joey felt a calling for the Lord to do that. I'm t stealing his, his story, but um, uh, you want to say something about it? Uh, sure. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. It was really awesome. I felt like I was about to step through the pearly gates. And we all just, this was like the rehearsal for the real thing. So that was awesome. I can see the brightness on your faces when you're singing and your love for the Lord. So that's pretty, really pretty awesome. Anyway, we started about, probably about seven and a half years ago at uh, my parish up in McKinney, St. Gabriel's, and uh, a group of men called the Mango Men. They hold a quarterly guest speaker that comes into our parish every quarter. And one of them was... Uh, Danny Bromowitz. I don't know if you know Danny Bromowitz. He's a former NFL star. He's part of the uh, Crossing the Goal team on EWTN. There's another network that Mother Angelica started a long time ago. Um, anyway, he said, guys, how come Dallas-Fort Worth does not have a men's conference? And they kind of looked at each other and went, I don't know. And he's like, well, I'm challenging you to be a strong man and stand up. You know, we don't need these weak wimps sitting in the pews out there. We need strong men to stand up and believe and show our faith in God and put together a men's conference, get this, thing, get this thing going. So they did that and they called a bunch of men together and had all these names on the wall, the leader and all the sub teams. And I'm like, I'm gonna get that one right there because I know how to do that one. I can do food and you know support beverages and facilities. So, oh, easy to do that. I do it with the men's club all the time. Of course, all these other people start volunteering and that top spot is empty. And then later on, he comes to me after mass and says, Joey, he goes, he goes, you know, we still need that leader position filled. And I went, yeah, I know you know that. You need that spot filled. I said, who's it going to be? He goes, he goes, I need you to pray for, the, for pray about getting that spot. And I went home and I prayed, and I was called to take that spot. And I put it on the first year, and then second year, and then we had other leaders that had kind of taken my spot, and Rick and Bob have taken over from that spot, that very top spot, to be the leader for the conference and put it on. But in the background, all these years, I've been just the guy pushing saying, Lord, whatever it is you need me to do, I will do awesome. to keep this going. So, and I've been doing that. In an incredible way. This is another great friend of mine, Rick Self, who is uh, president of Catholic Brothers for Christ, which is a 501c. And uh, um, and I'm going to talk for a second. I'll let you okay. talk before I introduce sure. your wife. Sure. But, uh, He's got a heart. Uh, he went to a retreat and uh, said, you know, he was just going through the motions. He went through the retreat and it totally changed his life. And uh, uh, why don't you say something? Thank you. Um, first of all, awesome singing and music. I, like he was saying, it's like being in the pearly gates. I mean, your, your voice is great. Um, just, it's, I'm glad to see the enthusiasm. And thank you for doing this. For us. I want to um, say thanks to my leadership team that's here tonight that's uh that you've been doing this for seven years joey's been doing it for seven some of you guys uh mark and mark everybody i mean seven years awesome um but i also want to thank bob because bob has really stepped up the last couple of years uh first you know bob was involved with chirp big time at, at good shepherd <laughs> and really got the chirp rolling where it was. But then, you know, when he, when he finished doing that, he went into this, to the men's conference, which is a big, you know, big step for us to have Bob here 
with his professionalism, with he just he's just a great guy. He's filled with Christ, and it's good to have him on board. And also, I just want to thank you for tonight. I mean, thank you for doing this for us tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So before Bob takes over, I'm just going to say that Bob took us to another level. We were we we had been evangelizing to men, uh, which we've done a great job of. We we we're getting better every year. Probably five six thousand men that we've touched, and we have a, a pretty good conference every year. But we've also now took this organization to give back to what we're doing. We're not just receiving, but we're giving back. And that's what we're going to see tonight with the charity that we're giving to. And, and we're going to do more of that. We're going to, you know, we're, we're, we're missionary disciples and we're giving back what we, what we get. So with that, I'm going to let Bob explain what we're going to do. And uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it.